Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, listen, ladies and gents. Don't know why I've been starting off my videos with the music at the beginning, but you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot even, I promise you, I did not pick that song because that song is pivotal for this video. It is the epitome of this particular video. There are a lot of hurdles before each and every one of you because you are faced with one problem after the next, after the next, after the next. One bill, one worry, one piece of stress after another piece of stress, after another piece of stress, after another piece of stress. They built this system, but the foundation is shady. The foundation is unsupportive. And I'm trying to get you all to understand you must attack the foundation. Do you understand? Look at the World Trade Centers. They're claiming those buildings collapsed because somebody flew a plane into the top section of the building. Impossible. Defies all the laws of physics. Why? Because buildings are designed to keep them from pancaking, as you saw that happened in the World Trade Center. And all of the scientists who spoke up on this fact, who spoke up as to the design of that building, Okay, see, buildings must be able to withstand a certain amount of shaking, a certain amount of disruption of its foundation. But this, ladies and gentlemen, the system in which we are operating in is built on a shady foundation. You mean like slim shady? No, just shady. Ladies and gentlemen, science can be relied upon, but Congress, the judicial branch and the administrative branch or the executive branch cannot be relied upon. Why? Because they were put in place to do a certain thing. They haven't been doing it. Everybody is trying to figure out their way around it, like they're going through this little river right here. They're trying to figure out how to get to the other side of the mountain. Remember, they just told you ain't no mountain high enough. Now this video, we gonna do one thing. We gotta do this for y'all. Want y'all to know we wanna thank y'all, those of you who have viewed, cause by the end of the night, we will hit that million viewer mark. Although, hold on, you need to understand, other locations show that we are well over two million. Shh, don't tell nobody. This is what Google does, okay? This is what Google does. So we're at 917, I think it like, Every hour or every three hours it will change because you're going to see this ain't going to change that much. But I want to, uh-oh, sorry. My bad. I, literally, my bad because you guys just don't understand. That's 200 views in less than five minutes. So we have reached a minute mark and you got to see it at the same time I did. Okay, and this is what I'm advertising, people. Word of mouth. You guys telling your friends to watch this and people subscribing and sending it to their friends, putting it on their playlist. I want to thank you. Now, not that you all know. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to hit like. You don't hear me doing none of that crap. Okay, and I won't. So, now that Freddy is dead, let me let you guys know, because I got to go back and lay down. Sorry, guys. It's one of those weeks, and I really am having a difficult time. Uh, those of you who have lupus, then you somewhat understand what I'm going through. Because the things I'm complaining about now is what my friends who I was, who I've been around in the past who've had lupus, this is what they've complained about. And so I feels for you, okay? And I understand. I don't understand everything, but <clears throat> I understand. So ladies and gentlemen, we've already showed you that the information contained in this, and you notice we've been focused on this for over a year, okay? Ever since I first found it, I've been showing you guys this particular page. 
And as you see, I haven't been focused on the opinions of the people who put the page together. I've been focused on what they're actually saying Congress said. And so over the last two weeks, I've been telling you all, we need to put the actual law in front of these idiots, in front of these courts. We need to bring forth our federal question. We need to bring this information to the fore because people have tried before, but they haven't done it in mass. And this has to be a concerted effort. So what I'm suggesting is that all of you, as a matter of fact, I have a couple of people, we're gonna put together a couple of federal questions and we're just gonna have you guys putting these federal questions on state level and pay attention, state level and federal level. Remember, you followed on the federal level, Rob, what's his name is? Come on, Rob Ryder has already shown you guys that there's no filing fee. And if they say there's a filing fee, all you have to do is use Rob Ryder's letter. It was assigned to judge and, and oh, by the way, we don't want a magistrate deciding this. So we'll put in there uh, to be heard to be heard before a judge. Now, technically, you can, ladies and gentlemen, have it heard before a magistrate, but I don't like magistrates. Magistrates are wannabes. Okay? Magistrates are wannabes. And they don't have too much sense to begin with. Understand these judges that are on the bench now, they know the law. The congressional members that are sitting in Congress, they know the law. They can't talk about the president because he doesn't know much at all. Oh, God, he's stupid. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We shall not talk about our commander and thief that way. Okay? So, y'all, if y'all hear me say anything negative about President Donald Gump, y'all correct me. Okay? Because he's not just an idiot. No, he's much more than that. But we're not going to talk about him right now because that will detract from this. And no, I, I'm not Republican. I'm not Democrat because Democrats are stupid too. And Barack Obama with the 54 United States. Yeah, that's right. He actually said at one time that there were 54 United States. That there were 54 states in the United States. Everybody knows there's 58 states in the United States. I don't know what his problem was. Shoot, where he got his education. So all of those idiots are idiots. Ladies and gentlemen, they're only there for the notoriety and the prestige. Why do you think they build monuments to themselves? Why do you think every president gets a library? Because they're worried about their reputation only. They're not worried about you. They're going to go with the popular vote. What popular vote? Whichever way they want the pendulum to swing. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is the part, and you can use this exact quote because it's definitely an exact quote. It literally, I didn't know if they added anything, so I wasn't sure at first. But after going back and looking at the document, it's an exact quote. Exact. From the actual Senate report. And they say since March 9, 1933, the United States has been a declared national emergency. That declared national emergency was called, pay attention, a banking holiday. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no debt. They're in bankruptcy. How do you know they're in bankruptcy? They ain't never said they're in bankruptcy. Well, they called it a national economic emergency. And this man... Hold on. When y'all get the chance, I played the video for y'all because somebody, nice woman, sent it to me. Where you at? Come on, y'all. I'm looking for it. I know I done passed it up, but I'm going to find it again because that's what I do. I find stags. There he is, Mr. Trafficant. Okay? He's a traffic officer, and he just don't want to do it no more, so that's why he's trafficant. He don't want to do it no more. He literally spoke these words, Mr. Speaker, we are now in chapter 11. Members of Congress are official trustees. Now, notice what he said. He didn't say the president was a trustee. He didn't say that the United States Department of the Treasury was a trustee. He said that Congress were the trustees. I want you guys to pay attention to what he said. Now, I can't prove that they're trustees, but since nobody corrected him, 
that presumption stands. Notice how nobody stood up to correct traffic as he gave this speech. Okay? And remember, he said, over the greatest reorganization. Now watch this. I did open up another window. Let's see if it's going to do it. Where you put the other window at? Is that way down here? Yeah, way down here. All right. I did reorganization, but I want you guys to see what I'm going to do. Oh, don't do that. It don't like my IP address, y'all, because I'm all over the place. I ain't got no meeting attendees. He wants to make sure I ain't one of them robots. He wants to make sure I was human. See, I'm not a robot. It's not a tumor. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to be short. We're going to give you about three more minutes, but watch this so that you guys understand why I'm showing you that we can put a little bit of confidence in the United States. And by the way, reorganization happens in what type of bankruptcy? You better believe it. Chapter 11 bankruptcy. How did you know that? Because I knew that. That's why he talked about Chapter 11. That's why he spoke about the greatest reorganization. That directly applies to bankruptcy. And have you guys, wait, wait, hold on. Let me show you one other thing. Look, even Toys R Us restructuring information for its reorganization and chapter 11 filing. Wait, hold on. Watch this. I never paid attention to what traffic had said until I listened to it. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen, that's India. I said US Reorganization Act. I didn't say nothing about the Indian Reorganization Act and the Willer Howard Act was U.S. federal legislation that dealt with the status of Native Americans known as the law, known in law as the American Indians or Indians, blah, blah, blah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're all Native Americans, those of us who were born here in America. And as you guys saw since, whew, I brought this to everybody's attention, I've been using just that. I'm not looking for the Reorganization Act as far as Indian. See, then this happened around Roosevelt's time anyway, but I don't want the Indian Reorganization Act. I asked for the U.S. Reorganization Act. Why do I know that there's a U.S. Reorganization Act? Look, the Legislative Reorganization Act of 1946. Harriet Truman <laughs> signed the Legislation Reorganization Act of 1946 into law this day, drafted by the Joint Committee on the Organization of Congress and uh, spearheaded by Senator Robert M. Lafonte, Jr. Hey, De Lafonte! Anyway, of Wisconsin and Representative Armenheimer Mahoney, Mahoney Maroney of Oklahoma Legislation Steenlined. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I typed in the United States Reorganization Act is because there are several acts out there that speak directly as to reorganization. Reorganization happens in bankruptcy. Several presidents have instituted a reorganization. You'll see it all the time in law. This lets you know that we're in bankruptcy. And traffic hunt, chapter 11, bankruptcy. But you can't repeat this this way. It has to be repeated in a way to where you're not sounding like you're spewing a speech that you can't prove. Okay? So what you do, now I want y'all to pay attention. This is what you do. And then I'm going to end this video because we ain't going to go nowhere after that. Pay attention to this right here. Congress stated in, pay attention, Congressional Record of March 17, 1993, that is, I don't know what this stands for, but I know that must stand for House um, 1303. I don't know what the P stands for. So it stands for Putin because he just got elected. Anyway, shut up. Mr. Traficat, Mr. Speaker. Okay, Congress confirmed in 1993 by congressional record from March 17, 1993, that the United States is in bankruptcy and that they are going through a reorganization plan. Okay, that's how you would put that in your document. 
you wouldn't put that trafficant said this or trafficant said this. it's not about trafficant it's about he said it and nobody corrected him and he was an expert in law because he was a congressman that's right he was a lawyer because that's what all congressmen are they're lawyers because lawyer is an expert or student of law they're all learned men because they create law okay that's how you would use it you would not just take what's here and quote trafficant you would just say that congress announced that's right because he was on the floor of the house oh he was stepping on the floor ain't no dancing on the dance floor anyway ladies and gentlemen just so that you guys understand once he did this publicly because this was a public hearing once he announced this information publicly guess what the rule is that that was Congress speaking. It was a joint session, meeting together. The whole house was together when he was given this speech. Whole house, not, I said joint session, no, whole house. It's a full house, mama. Okay, when he gave this speech, so you can now say Congress said this because Mr. Trafficant was speaking on behalf of Congress. That's how you use it, ladies and gentlemen. But again, I'm gonna to get together with a couple of people over the next couple of weeks and we're gonna to put together federal questions according to the way federal questions should be put together. I got a couple of people that I'm gonna be working with and then we'll put together a general document for you guys to put together. But like we said, if you're gonna do a federal question, you don't wanna do 18 different federal questions. You wanna keep it to one or two. Why? Because if you do more than that, then they will knit and pick and they will start going off of certain words. And then you, next thing you know, it's not about what you originally asked in the first place. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I said we're only going to go a couple of more minutes and we're now at 17 minutes. And that's a little bit too long because like I said, I'm about to go lay down. Y'all have a good day. Have a good life. Have a good night. And thank you guys for witnessing this monumental beat. Because the last time we went over a million, I wasn't around. <laughs> it went over a million without me being around. This time I was here. Okay, so thank you. Have a good day. Have a good life. Take care of yourselves. And no, you can't email me. You can't contact me. You can't write me. You can't text me. And you can't call me because I ain't got no time for that, people. I have other things I need to work on, and it's not your private stuff. You want somebody to work on your private stuff? There are plenty of people out there you can pay, but I'm not one of them. Have a good day.